The disarm technique is a very specific and pointed way to deal with urges. Disarm stands for destructive images, self-talk awareness, and refusal method. To use the disarm technique, you combine awareness of your urges with a very specific and disagreeable person or stereotype. So, as with all urge coping strategies, the first step is to become more aware of your urges, specifically any images or things you say to yourself that make you want to drink or use. The imagery might include seeing yourself drinking or using, thinking about what it would feel like to use, or even imagining situations in which you usually drink or use. The things you say to yourself that you want to look out for would include anything you might say to convince yourself to drink or use, or different excuses you might tell yourself why it would be all right to give in to the urge. You might want to get good at recognizing your urges so that you can confront them as soon as they appear. Nipping them in the bud is easier than hacking away at them when, they're got, when they've gotten stronger. This is where the refusal comes in. It's quick, it's firm, and it comes with a very specific image that you create. In disarm, you see the urge as a person or type of person that you really don't like. It may be an annoying, pushy salesperson, a spoiled two-year-old having a tantrum, or some person from your past that you really didn't get along with. You imagine the urge as this person telling you to do something you really don't want to do. You treat the urge as you would that person. Let's say you go with the annoying, pushy salesman. Would it help to reason or argue with this person? No. Anything you say to a pushy salesman is just going to get you deeper into his pitch. He doesn't really care about you. He's trying to sell you something you don't want, don't need, and can't afford. You just want to get away, and he keeps pressing. What do you do? You say, no, get away from me. I'm sick and tired of you. Then you turn your back on the urge and walk off. Maybe you like to imagine slamming the door on his face. Do it. You don't want the urge to get its foot in the door. Whatever image you choose, make sure it's something or someone you really don't like in practice, even when you're not feeling the urge. Imagine the detailed scenario of confronting and rejecting this person. That way you'll be good and ready when the urge does strike. The disarm technique is a more active, even fun way to go right at the urge. Come up with something that works for you and give it a shot.